Hey there, dear viewer. Today we're going to explore some powerful stoic principles that will help you conquer the day. We're about to embark on a roller coaster ride through ancient wisdom that is as relevant today as it was over 2,000 years ago. Let's start with a quick anecdote. Imagine you're a sailor out at sea, and a storm is brewing. The waves are growing larger, the wind is picking up, and you're feeling a bit seasick. What do you do? You can't control the storm, but you can control how you react to it. You can either panic and let the storm consume you, or stay calm and sail through it. This is the core of Stoicism, focusing on what you can control and accepting what you can't. Recognizing what is in our control and what is not lies at the heart of Stoic philosophy, and it is an essential principle for living a more peaceful and fulfilled life. As the Serenity Prayer beautifully articulates, the key is to find the wisdom to differentiate between what we can change and what we must accept. Though the concept may sound simple, its application in our daily lives can be quite challenging. Take, for example, your daily commute. You're stuck in traffic, fuming about how you're going to be late for work. You can't control the traffic, but you can control how you react to it. To dive deeper into this idea, let's consider the various aspects of our lives that we often misinterpret as being within our control. We frequently expend energy and emotional resources trying to change things that are simply beyond our reach such as other people's opinions, the weather, or the global economy. In doing so, we cause ourselves unnecessary stress and frustration. Now let's examine the aspects of our lives that are truly within our control. Our thoughts, emotions, and actions are all under our jurisdiction. We have the power to choose how we react to external circumstances, how we process our emotions, and what steps we take to better ourselves and our situations. Returning to the example of being stuck in traffic, it's easy to fall into the trap of feeling angry, anxious, or defeated. However, this only serves to amplify our suffering. Instead, we can consciously choose to focus on what we can control in that moment, our thoughts and actions. By using the time to listen to an audiobook, practice deep breathing, or simply enjoy the moment of stillness, we transform the experience into something more positive and constructive. To put this stoic rule into practice more effectively, we can develop a mental checklist to help us determine whether a particular situation is within our control or not. When faced with a challenge, ask yourself, one, can I control the situation or outcome directly? Two, can I influence the situation or outcome through my actions or attitude? Three, is the situation or outcome entirely out of my hands and therefore something I must accept? By answering these questions, we can better discern what is within our control and what is not. This clarity enables us to make more intentional choices about how we respond to life's challenges. Furthermore, it's essential to practice patience and self-compassion when implementing this stoic rule. It takes time and effort to retrain our minds to recognize the difference between what we can control and what we can't. Be kind to yourself during this process and remember that progress is often gradual. The Stoics believe that it's not the events in our lives that cause us distress, but rather our judgments and interpretations of those events. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus said, men are disturbed not by things, but by the views which they take of things. A great way to practice this is to reframe your thoughts. Instead of dwelling on the negative, focus on the positive. For instance, if you've just experienced a breakup rather than wallowing in sadness and anger, Try to appreciate the time you spent together and the lessons you learned from the relationship. The following proverb encapsulates perfectly this stoic rule. The wind does not break a tree that bends. In other words, be flexible and adaptable. Life is full of change and if you stubbornly resist it, you'll only end up broken. Instead, learn to bend and adjust to the winds of change and you'll find that you're far more resilient than you ever imagined. Embracing adversity is a fundamental aspect of stoicism as it teaches us to view hardships not as burdens, but as opportunities for growth and self-improvement. Stoic philosophers like Seneca believed that suffering and difficulties are an inherent part of the human experience, and instead of running away from them, we should face them head-on and use them to our advantage. When we encounter challenges or hardships, we are forced to step out of our comfort zone and confront our fears, doubts, and insecurities. This process, though often painful and uncomfortable, ultimately strengthens our mental and emotional resilience, just as physical labor and exercise build up our bodily strength. Moreover, 
embracing adversity allows us to develop crucial life skills, such as patience, perseverance, and adaptability. As we overcome obstacles, we learn to find creative solutions to problems, bounce back from setbacks, and keep moving forward despite the odds. When we face adversity, it's essential to maintain a positive mindset and focus on the lessons we can learn from the experience. As the saying goes, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. By adopting this perspective, we can transform even the most challenging situations into valuable learning opportunities. Embracing adversity fosters a deeper sense of empathy and compassion for others who may be going through similar struggles. When we have faced and overcome hardships, we can better understand and support those around us who are navigating their own storms. It's important to note that embracing adversity doesn't mean seeking out pain and hardship for their own sake. Rather, it's about recognizing that life will inevitably present us with challenges. And instead of resisting or avoiding them, we should face them with courage, determination, and a positive attitude. Cultivate gratitude. The Stoics believed that cultivating gratitude is essential to leading a fulfilled life. As Marcus Aurelius, the great Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher wrote in his meditations, when you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. This mindset can dramatically shift your outlook on life. Instead of focusing on what you don't have, concentrate on appreciating the abundance already present in your life. A powerful way to practice gratitude is to keep a daily journal where you jot down three things you're grateful for every day. And remember, gratitude is like a muscle. The more you practice it, the stronger it becomes. Practice self-discipline. The Stoics believe that self-discipline is the key to unlocking personal freedom. By cultivating self-control, we can conquer our negative emotions, desires, and habits. In the words of Epictetus, no man is free who is not master of himself. So how do we become masters of ourselves? One approach is to establish daily routines that foster discipline. Create habits like waking up early, meditating, exercising, and setting aside time for reflection. As the saying goes, the chains of habit are too weak to be felt until they are too strong to be broken. Accepting and loving your fate is a concept that resonates deeply within our hearts, as it calls upon us to embrace the entirety of our existence, the joys and the sorrows, the victories and the losses. Amor Fati is an invitation to celebrate the imperfections and unpredictability of life, recognizing that they are integral to our human experience. The Stoics believe that every event in life, whether seemingly good or bad, serves a purpose in shaping our character and our journey. In this way, Amor Fati is a profoundly emotional and transformative concept. It teaches us to face life's challenges head on, not with bitterness or regret, but with appreciation for the lessons they bring. When we fully embrace Amor Fati, we let go of the futile struggle to change the past or control the future, and we free ourselves from the emotional turmoil that comes with resisting the natural flow of life. Instead, we find inner peace and contentment, knowing that each moment, no matter how challenging, serves as an opportunity for growth, wisdom, and self-discovery. But how do we cultivate this deep love for our fate? It starts with mindfulness and self-awareness. We must first acknowledge our emotions, even the most difficult ones, and allow ourselves to feel them fully. This process of embracing our feelings is the first step towards acceptance and it can be both healing and empowering. We must practice gratitude for the experiences life has brought us. By focusing on the positive aspects of our lives, even in the face of adversity, we gradually shift our perspective and begin to see the beauty in our fate. As we develop this attitude of gratitude, we come to understand that our challenges are opportunities for growth and our pain can be transformed into wisdom. Embracing Amor Fati means finding the courage to forgive ourselves and others for the mistakes and misfortunes that are inevitable in life. Forgiveness allows us to let go of resentment and embrace the present moment, unburdened by the weight of past grievances. It is through forgiveness that we can truly accept and love our fate. To deeply and emotionally connect with Amor Fati, we must commit to living our lives authentically and passionately. When we fully engage with the present moment and pursue our dreams with determination, we honor our unique path and fate. This approach not only fills our lives with meaning, but also fosters a deep sense of self-love and acceptance. To truly conquer the day, we must let go of our desires for life to be a certain way 
and instead learn to love and accept the life we have. Remember this proverb, the bamboo that bends is stronger than the oak that resists. By accepting and embracing our fate, we become like the resilient bamboo, able to withstand life's storms. Reflect on your mortality. The Stoics believe that by contemplating the impermanence of life, we can gain a profound appreciation for the present moment. They practiced an exercise called memento mori, which means remember that you will die. By regularly reflecting on our mortality, we can cultivate a sense of urgency and make the most of each day. As the Roman poet Horace wrote, Carpe diem quam minimum credula postero. Seize the day, put very little trust in tomorrow. So, let's not waste another moment and truly seize the day. These stoic rules can help you conquer the day and live a more fulfilled, meaningful life by recognizing what is in our control and what is not, changing our perspectives, being adaptable, embracing adversity, cultivating gratitude, practicing self-discipline, accepting and loving our fate, and reflecting on our mortality, we can become more resilient, focused, and content. Now, it's time for you to put these principles into practice. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So, take that first step today and watch as these stoic rules transform your life. Thank you for joining me on this roller coaster ride through the wisdom of the Stoics. I hope you found it engaging and, most importantly, useful. Now go out there and conquer the day.